video for you today and I have a handful of products that I've never used before so um, I'm gonna do this kind of as like a voiceover talk through type of get ready with me that way I can let you know my first impressions on a lot of these products that I've never tried before I have some makeup products and some brushes that I've never used before so I'm really excited to do this today so if you want to see my first impression on these products and also how I got this look that I'm wearing today then just keep on watching Duh. I'm already primed and moisturized, so I'm starting out with this NYX Color Correcting Palette to conceal my under eye circles. Then next I'll be going in with the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. And the first impression product that I'm starting out with today is Zoeva Brushes. This is the number 102 Silk Finish Foundation Brush. And my first impression of this brush is... I love it. <laughs> it has synthetic fibers Normally I would prefer a flat top kabuki, but this is the one that came in the brush set that I got, but I couldn't be happier. It got me a lot of coverage in the spots that I needed it, and I noticed later on it was easy to wash. The next I'm going in with the 110 Zoeva brush for my concealer and highlight, and this is basically just a smaller version of the other brush, and I mean I love it too. It's just a small kabuki brush. Since doing this video, I've also used this brush to do a cream contour, and it worked really well for that as well. Um, I'm, you, as you can see here, I can take the excess product and distribute it for a highlight on the rest of my face. And then I'll just be setting that with this Hourglass Powder. You're probably like, well, wait a minute, girl, that's a highlighter. But this is actually marketed as a finishing powder, not a highlighter. So shut it. I'm trying to be versatile. And look at that face. So getting back to it, I will be using this Becca Opal Shimmering Skin Perfector as a cheekbone highlight. And I'm actually using that same brush, the number 110, I believe it was. And I just squeezed the product directly onto the brush and began stippling it onto my cheekbone. Works really well for this. It makes it so I don't apply too much highlighter. And then once again, I could just take the excess and apply it to other areas. And a lot of times with a cream highlight, I like to set it with either a translucent powder or another highlighter. And I did just upload a brow tutorial, so I'm not going to go too far into my technique, but this is the 317 Wing Liner Brush, and I'm going to use this for my dip brow. My impression of this brush is that the bristles are very thin, and it's angled in such a way that it forces you to put your hand in the correct position, so I do like it. Then, of course, I always finish with clear brow gel. And then next, just because all of these brushes came in a set, I didn't want to leave any out. I'm just going to use this powder brush to soften everything that I've applied so far. And yes, of course I love it. I love all of them. <laughs> now I'm taking an even smaller version of the first brush that I used. This is the 142 Concealer Buffer, and I'm applying my paint pot with this as my eye primer. Since filming this, I've also used this brush for nose contour, and it worked really well for that. Next, we're busting out the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I'll be using this lighter shade as a transition shade, and this deeper brown shade to deepen the crease. And this is actually a Morphe brush. This one's not Zoeva. And I forgot to mention, this is not my first impression of the Kat Von D palette. I have used it in the past, but I will let you know I like it. Um, it is very powdery, though. Very, very powdery. At any rate, my next first impression is this shade Amber from Anastasia. This is from the new Summer Collection, and it is a titanium shadow. And it's very, very creamy, so it applies better with the finger. I am in love with this color. It's one of their titanium shades, so it's very luminous and perfect for summer. Just quickly highlighting my inner corner with this white Morphe shadow. Then I'll be using this other fluffy Zoeva brush to apply this dark brown shade in my crease. And this brush is smaller than like the MAC 217 or the Sigma E25. It's very flat on one side and fluffy on the other. So you can see me like switching it back and forth to blend and get deeper in that crease. And this is just the perfect blending brush. It's like the perfect size. Now here, this is the Petite Crease Brush, which is basically just a large fluffy pencil brush, and I'm using that to get shadow more precise, like in the outer crease where I'm starting to wing it out there on the outer corner, and also apply it to the lower lash line. I think I like this brush even better than the other one. And I cannot pronounce any of these eyeshadow names, so I'm not even going to try, but I'm using this bone colored shadow just as a matte brow bone highlight. Now my impression of this Mario Badescu rose water spray is that it is completely unnecessary but it smells great and it feels really really refreshing when you spray it on the skin. So I think I'll keep it. 
Now today I wanted to change it up and wear a brown eyeliner, so I'm using this Chocolate Dip Brow, and this is a first impression on this brush. This is the Sonia Kashuk Bent Liner Brush, and I have used it once before, but never on camera. Now if you make YouTube beauty videos and you find it difficult to apply eyeliner on camera, get a bent liner brush because I really liked this for that. It just keeps your hand out of the way of your eye. So yeah, I find eyeliner difficult to apply on camera. That's why sometimes my wing liner comes off looking kind of crazy. But with this brush, it made it a lot easier. Then here I'm going to tight line with black on top and brown on bottom. Now this is the first time I've used a CoverGirl mascara in probably 10 years. I never liked them before. This is the Clump Crusher mascara, and it has one of those synthetic wands that's curved to help curl your eyelashes. And I've got to say, I loved this formula. I have a problem with my eyelashes clumping. This kept them from clumping. It looked great with just one coat. And yeah, it, it stayed on all day without flaking off. So I really did enjoy this mascara. Next, I will be applying these Lena lashes. These are in the style Bardot. And you can see they're really, really long and dramatic. And I actually put them on Snapchat. <laughs> so follow me on Snapchat, Nicole MW1. Anyway, uh, my impression of these lashes is that they weren't exactly comfortable and it was very difficult to keep the inner corner sealed down. Like I had to go back in and apply extra lash glue and reconnect that inner corner. You could see there that it's like it's starting to pop up, which isn't uncommon when you apply lashes for the first time. But I don't know. These weren't exactly comfortable. I found that my eyes watered pretty much all day long. But aside from them irritating my eyes, they were really dramatic and pretty, so I will definitely give them another shot because beauty is pain. <laughs> now this one is not a first impression product. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion, and I'll be applying this with my Sephora 46 bronzer brush with a short handle, and this brush will bronze your ass in half a second. The bristles are so dense. Now this bronzer is definitely too warm to contour with, so for my nose, I'll be using NARS Laguna instead. It just casts a bit more of a natural looking shadow than like an orangey bronzer like the other one. Now for blush, I'll be applying Matte Cantaloupe, and this is the 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush from Zoeva. Yes, girl. This br Okay, I don't want to say that this is my favorite brush. I think my Marc Jacobs blush brush is probably my favorite of all time, but using this brush, the, the bristles were just so long and fluffy and it just made applying the blush enjoyable. Look how much fun I'm having. Look at it. Then just to make sure everything blends nicely, I'm going back in with that big fluffy powder brush. And this is a first impression of this lip gloss. I have others of this line, but I've never tried this color until now. I loved it. Look how pigmented it is. Like a lot of nude glosses, they have issues, but this is just the perfect balance of peachy beige and it has the pigmentation of a lipstick and the moisture of a gloss and there's nothing else that I want in life. So that is it for this makeup look. It is now time to do something with this wild ass rat's nest on top of my head and I will be right back. That's it for today's look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new about the products that I showed you today. Don't forget to leave anything in the comments that you would like to see in the future. That is going to do it for today's video. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you in Bye. the next one. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> you are so dumb. Don't make me feel awkward. I'm already awkward enough without you. <laughs> Bye. And if you want to see how to get this look right here, Keep on watching. Meh. Why am I so fucking awkward? It's fine. It's fine the way that it is.